one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the SUP Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Luke Trevisi. Here again, having a good old time. We got a lot of, lot of stuff to talk about this week. Uh, I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, I'm here, as always, with my two co-hosts. I've got Chris Chain to my left. What's up, guys? And Lawrence Deloach to my right. What's up, guys? What, what's up, bro? Chilling, guys. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Did you guys have any, have, have any good Halloween plans? Did you guys go out for Halloween? Negative. I am 31. I don't, I don't okay. especially not during Corona. I did have a wedding and I went to. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking at people who shit and I was like, yeah, I'm a fucker's not scared of COVID at all. Mm-hmm. That shit's crazy. Mm-hmm. I went out weddings with- are uh, not chill, by the way. I mean, like, there was half, you know, I'm, I was in New Hampshire, so you can only imagine uh, the amount of people who didn't believe in masks that were there. Ooh. That's a all rough right. one. Yeah. Oh, I went out with uh, with my Asian homies. Uh, we were outdoors the whole time, playing it safe, smoking blunts of the individuals. No, no sharing. No, no, sharing see, no passing. No passing. <laughs> so, uh, so when you were going up to um, people's doors, they're like, "Are you? What are you supposed to be?" And you're like, "A child. Give me candy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have. I should have. I should have shaved my face and just did that. I probably could have gotten away with it. It's like, oh, just some fucking brat teenager trying to get some free candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about somebody who probably had a very shitty Halloween. <laughs> uh, let's get let's get right into it. Our good boy Warren Lotus is back in the news. Uh, hold on, Chris, can you share the? Can you let me share screen? Oh yes, I can. I can do that. We are a professional show. We do professional oh, things all the Boom. time. Boom! Let's pull this bad boy up. Bang! Look at this shit. So Warren Lotus, uh, he lost his uh, his fight with uh, with Nike. I big think. time. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. Uh, and he l- released a statement basically saying that uh, Nike's being shitty because they're, they own all these color combinations and all this other stuff, and he's basically calling the dunk plain. And, uh, and then he was like, all right, well, here's your, here's your dunk, guys. It's a, it's a shittier version of, of an SB. What do we think, guys? It looks horrible, first off. <laughs> Junk. How about they call it junk? I hate you. I hate you. He said that pre-show, guys. He said that (laughs) pre-show, and nobody laughed, and he he did did it again. And did it again. (laughs) Luke, you laughed. I laughed. It's actually really hard. Fuck you. (laughs) Uh, It looks terrible. It's a joke at this point. I mean, he's got to recoup that money somehow, but Nike is coming at him hard Mm -hmm. as fuck right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I look, uh, I, I, I appreciate the kid's effort. Uh, but I mean, I don't know who told him that these were good enough to make. I think it was more of a thing where he was like, he felt pressure to actually get something out to his, to the people who bought shit. Yes. So I don't know if they're going to let him keep the, the funds on this or if they're taking everything. It sounds like they came to an agreement, right? Yeah, the agreement that he won't do anything ever again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, show the other colorways too, because the other way, the other colorways aren't that bad. But like, I mean, they're still bad because they're their shoe. So we've got, uh, we've got the the clean slates, which are like a a gray and and white kind of colorway. Uh, and the big thing for the for the listeners is like instead of a swoosh, there's uh, which was the big controversy. Uh, he's got uh, a reaper head um that i don't know it's kind of like a, like right in the middle of the shoe it's uh it's interesting you know i just love the blatant hate the one of the first comments you could see by young baby swiss is these shit's trash dog <laughs> bruh said overwhelming support and positivity lmfa oh guy why lie <laughs> yeah, yeah I, think- I mean no go out no we're gonna say go ahead no, I was just going to say, like, I mean, I get trying to fulfill, like, people's, like, supposed, like, want or need for the shoe that they bought. But, I mean, like, not, when you give them something like this, it's not even close and it's ugly. It's like, I mean, I mean, look, bro, I, I appreciate your effort, like, just trying to make your own thing here. But, I mean, like, this ain't it. Yeah. I don't know. If what were you going to say, El? 
Yeah, I was gonna say it, it looks it looks bad. It doesn't even look. Are though is that like that's like a a, a mock up image? I mean, I don't even think that's a real that's a real photo. I feel like, it, and it looks like those shit. They just look bad, bro. It looks like like the the first shits he was doing. It was like uh, I wouldn't wear them, but these just look like an embarrassment. Yeah, these are these are like. I don't know, man. These are these are some big L's right here. Mm-hmm. You could wear those, and you'd be like, "Look, look! I lost on sneakers and on the Warren Lotus website." Yo, you can't even win with bootlegs. We people losing. Imagine right? just like your whole week has been like sneaker app L's, and then like you're like, oh, "At least I got these Warren Lotus pigeon dunks." And the guy goes, "No, sorry, you can have <laughs> the chainsaws, though." <laughs> you can have this constellation prize. Oh, no, it's horrible. It, it, yeah, they're horrible, man. It's embarrassing. But, I mean, people, hopefully people realize, man, you got to stop supporting this, this shit. You know, this is horse shit that people are supporting. And I'm not with it, you know? And I'm, yeah. I'm happy that Nike's fucking take, hopefully they take everything, you know, they this guy got and shit. You know what I mean? So. My biggest well, thing. Go ahead. No, go, 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 go. My biggest thing with bootlegs is like, I, it's, I, again, it's like, it's the, it's the market. And like, I have a big problem with like resale culture, mm-hmm. uh, as far as like that stuff goes. Cause I, I, I saw a post that PG made PG knows he mm-hmm. made a, he made a post, uh, earlier this week after the off white fives dropped, uh, where he had like a, a trunk full of off white fives and people were hating on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my biggest issue with this is because PJ PG was like one of the guys that was like shitting on Warren Lotus for making these shoes in the first place. Mm-hmm. and he's like a known like reseller guy you mm-hmm. know so it's like it's i mean of course you're gonna shit on these shoes because these are like this is a system that benefits you you know what mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. it's a system where it's like if 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 shoes were as available in this same kind of idea where it's like it's a pre-order based system and anybody could get you know they, they could get like a limit of one per shoe or whatever then you know you wouldn't have resale prices so high and that kind of scares, I think, that reseller market, which is why I like the idea in the first place. But I don't know, man. This still isn't the way, you know? No, it's not. Well, I mean, what do you think about Jeff Staple kind of like moving on, pressing forward with another bootlegger? Well, actually, I don't even know if I want to call him a bootlegger, but I mean, shoe surgeon, he had these uh, like pigeon vote dunks. Yeah. These guys right here. Uh, I don't know. I feel like these are, well, these are a little bit more, maybe it's because it's like limited and shoe surgeons kind of been like, he's kind of has like a, a little bit of a Nike stamp where it's like, they kind of agree that he can just do whatever he wants. Um, I don't know, man. These are nice. I conceptually, I said before uh, we hit record, like I love the swoosh check in the box you see on the on the panel on the on the panel mm-hmm. right there there's the square so it's like your vote you know like the check box of a vote mm-hmm. um i mean conception i'm all about it but it's hard for me to morally like get behind it like because it is a bootleg it's not real mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like to kind of follow along with like what lawrence you've been kind of championing throughout our conversations about like you know like these fakes it's like i like them Similarly, that I like the the way that the kid was doing like the Stussy dunk, the Heineken dunk. Warren Lotus was doing like those ones that you can't really get that much, um, including the pigeon dunk. I mean, I just like I don't I don't know where I can really sit with this conceptually. Like I'm with it, but also almost like yeah, but they're fake. Yeah, they kind of sit in this weird in between in between space. But like the the hat on the pigeon, the little uncle. It's cute. Hat, it's, it's it's very cute. Come on, that's a nice touch. I, I think I just get tired of, of staple whoring out the pigeon. Like, it's like you are, you don't have, you have anything other to contribute other than a fucking pigeon at this point. Hey, man. No, Lawrence, he doesn't. That's why he keeps doing this shit. What else is he going to do? Hey, man, His Fujiwara whole, still got pigeon. blue. Fujiwara still got blue. All he's yeah. doing is throwing no, blue. He, it, it, the, the fragment threes were white and, and black, so they weren't, I mean... All right, fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I get it. Like, you know, he's, that's his thing, the pigeon. It's, you know, it, it is what it is. It's it's just like you said, like, Hiroshi has the, the, the lightning bolt. There's mm-hmm. certain things that people get their, their fame off of, but it's just like, 
I'm just tired of the fucking pigeon with this guy. You know what I mean? I mean, bro, he doesn't have enough, uh, like, iconography or, like, brand just... awareness to – Oh, what, what's up? Siri's Sir, trying to get in? <laughs> Siri's trying to get in. Just, um, just a sec. Hold on. Chris, you're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> No, but uh, Staple doesn't have enough like uh, uh, brand iconography or awareness to do anything other than the pigeon. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like what? He's gonna flip the Staple logo, like the like the office supply store. Like it, there's nothing else he can do, bro. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see it though. I mean, like it, uh, most brands don't even get lucky enough to have a pigeon. Like when you see that pigeon, you know it's his. Like, most brands, like, you have to, like, learn or, like, you know, it, it has to be a collaboration. You know what I mean? So, I get why, you, like, you're sick of it. But it's also, like, what else is he going to do? Mm-hmm. He's just, uh, yeah, that's his, that's his thing. I agree. So, you're, Elle, are you on the same place with these as the Lotus Dunks? I'm in a different space with the Lotus Dunks. Like, I mean, because you know why? Because a lot of people, what's interesting with, with these versus the Lotus – People actually like the shoe surgeon's work, if that makes yeah. sense. So he, he's not looked at to me as a pariah, in a sense. Whereas Lotus is looked at like, yo, man, people just don't fuck with you, bro. And that's a big thing. So That's true. Yes. The culture is not behind him. The culture, yeah, the culture does not. Like, they want to see Lotus go down. Like, people, like, people go to the shoe surgeon and they're like yo hook me up with some shit like you know i've seen him do plenty of custom work for celebrities and 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 of the sort you know so i i think it's just a different it's a different atmosphere but um yeah is it because just to to follow up on that is it because he did this before it was popular like before there was hype around the shit uh i'm not gonna say it's because of that i just think in terms of you saying sh- shoe surgeon or, or Lotus? Yeah, like him, Geiger, yeah. uh, and some of these guys who were kind of doing it before it was like a popular thing to do that you can get clout for. These guys were doing it and doing it well, which maybe is why they get an exception here. But I remember, I mean, those have been customized. I remember when I, when I was a kid, you know, I can go to a store in Manhattan and and there would be a uh, uh, Air Force One with Gucci print, you know, it was it was fake, customized, but it was you know it was of the sort. It was customized. It was all that. Uh, I've never been a fan of any of that stuff because I'm always like, I right, if unless it's come out, I have a tough time wearing like some customized shoes and shit like that. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because of they were on board before the the popularity. I just think that it's not. I'm just not a fan of the Lotus thing at all. And, and I can tolerate shoe surgeons work, but I'm not like going on my way to spend, you know, however much $500, $600 for, or a thousand for a custom. I'm just not going to do that. Yeah. I agree with that. You, you're like shoe surgeon. Like when you do spend like a thousand dollars, you're, you're spending it on the shoe surgeon name, which is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. At that point. So so the other thing is, is, uh, I, I mean, I wish I knew more about his, um, like the way he created the stuff. Cause like, if he's actually customizing each of the shoe, it is like an original Nike that then he's like modifying. Uh, whereas Lauren, Warren Lotus was like making the own, his own shit in a, in a factory. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so I guess there is something to that. I mean, I'm looking at his Instagram right now and there's a lot of stuff that seems like they're like factory done, but th- then again, I don't know. Um, but that probably is probably why he gets an exception too. Cause he is taking with the actual release and flipping it. But uh, I don't know if that's the case anymore. At least that was like you know when he first came out, he was known for doing that. Hold on, let me take a let me take a look at his page real quick. Yeah, a I lot mean, of there's crazy shit on here. Yeah, well, you know, he's always been kind of known for doing the most. Oh, elephants. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, like it's like with these, like so I don't know if he because if he buys them and like takes them apart and then restructures them, like that's one thing. Right. Uh, but to go to a factory and be like, all right, hey, look, I have this Nike Dunk in my hand. Like, you just make this with these modifications I'm going to give you. That's something separate. See, here's the thing, though. I don't believe he's hand making these anymore. I believe there was a point where he was making them by hand. Right. Yeah. yeah. He reached a level where he could kind of just go to a guy and be like, this is my idea. Can you make this for me? Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, even there, I don't know how true it was, but I, I, someone said that Lotus was on Instagram asking for, you know, 
trying to figure out where what factories can he still make his shit. So I mean, yeah, they're not hand making. I don't think they hand, they have someone and and mm-hmm. it's a uh, it's a process. It's not just their their hand to foot and then you like, oh man, this was and I don't think it's that. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I do know John Geiger for sure was doing it by hand, at least when he first started. Like, uh, I, I think I uh, found out his work. It was definitely the misplaced check. Like, that was the first one that I saw. And it, I, I know he was doing that by hand. I think it was 2014. I'm not, I, I don't know if that date hits correctly, but I remember meeting him in an agenda and um, him, like, complaining about having to, like, fulfill all these, like, not that he had to do them, but, like, he was like, dude, I just – Everyone likes those checks so much. I I can't keep up, you know. So it mm-hmm. seemed like he was doing them by hand. Yeah. Moral of the story here, guys, is I know it's gonna sound whack, but just if you like the Nike Dunk, don't don't like try to get some knockoff if that makes sense. Yeah. Especially with the Lotus shit, and I just want to see Lotus shit go down in flames. I yeah. <laughs> it's well, it's obviously like. So you, you compare like shoe surgeon and, and Lotus and it's like, obviously, yes, you're right. It's, it's like the whole thing is kind of built on this. Uh, he like, he just kind of took a, you know, he took an already existing des- design, took a very uh-huh. lazy swoosh flip uh-huh. while su- shoe surgeon you see over the years, he's been like, kind of like mastering this kind of modification art uh-huh. form. Uh-huh. And this just young guy comes onto the scene. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't say go fuck him, but like still, yeah, let's uh, let's let's talk about real. Let's talk about real sneakers. Real dunks. Let's talk let's about talk, real. Let's talk about some supremely real dunks, guys. Wow, <laughs> supremely real dunks. Let's talk about let's talk about the the Supreme uh, collab that's rumored to drop early twenty twenty one. If there's still a twenty twenty one, if we're still fucking alive after <laughs> Tuesday uh, in in this election that everyone keeps saying is the most important election ever hope you guys vote in new listeners um we got we got supreme uh they took the highs chopped them in the lows do some different colorways together what's your first thoughts uh here let me show because chris hasn't seen them yet right no i saw them i didn't i didn't uh because these were kind of like rumored to be around for a while i just didn't realize that this was also the same one um, yeah. These are a, a re- uh, redone version of the first ones they did. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. So Which, there's four colors. There's royal blue, there's lime, there's uh-huh. white and black, and then there's like a brownish burgundy color. Yeah. What are you, do you like any of them? Are you, I mean, I know we're, we're all expecting to take a loss, but are we, you know, what's your favorite color? What do you want? I, I think the blues are the best one, in my opinion. Okay. I, I mean, uh, the black one for me is probably the one, but I mean, like, uh, these are just a young, sh- these are young dunks. Like, I don't think, I mean, we could wear them, me and you, Lawrence, but I think this is more of like a Luke shoe. You know what I mean? Like, those stars are like hard. Those are, like, and why, why are they a young shoe? I don't get that. The star, that star pattern is tough. That's not for, I, I can't wear stuff like that too much. <laughs> really? I, I'm, I, I disagree. I think. I think, uh, I mean, obviously, it's, it's done to bring back the nostalgia of a, a shoe of that course. came out 17, you know, 18 years ago, basically. Uh, but I, uh, I'm i still, I'm excited about them. And obviously, if I can get my hands on a pair, I would definitely love to have it. That croc, obviously, you know, brings, it gives me back, you know, obviously, Tiffany, you know, low vibes, you know, mm-hmm. obviously, first Supreme, mm-hmm. Dunks, SBs. But I think they're, they're um, they're intriguing shoe because everyone wanted red or orange and they didn't give people red or orange, but I think the blue one is beautiful. The black, you know, the, the brown is, is my least favorite, but it's a solid shoe. The lime green is very intriguing. Uh, I'm not going to like, I'm going to be honest. I think they're, I mean, at first I thought they were kind of trash, but I kind of like, I'm, I'm so on on you. On they're growing on me a little I bit. Feel that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so you know Travis is going to be rocking that brown one. Oh, shit. Did you guys see him in a Batman costume? No, I didn't see yeah, it. I, I, did, I did see it. I didn't Batman. see it. Wait, what? Bro. <laughs> is that on. the hype costume now? Give me, I'll give, give me a second. I'll pull it up. But, like, we'll, well talk yeah. about that later. I'll pull yeah, it up. Let's, yeah, let's – so, so we have these four SBs. 
2021. So we've already been, we've already established that this is supposedly, quote unquote, the year of the dunk. Right. Uh, we're taking the year of the dunk and we're carrying it over to 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see how the rollout on, on the Supreme, uh, you know, SBs. I want to see how the, because obviously when, when a, a skate shop gets a, a dunk, usually the inventory is considerably higher than other skate shops. But what I've seen in the past with Supreme is they don't give a fuck. They're complete assholes. And mm-hmm. when it comes to, uh, you know, releasing dunks, I do remember getting a pair of the red Supreme, uh, red and black uh, Supreme elephant print ones back in like mm. 2012. Mm-hmm. I was not able to get my size, but I do remember they had pairs for days. So uh, I, you know, I, I wonder how it's going to play out here. I mean, we know it's going to be different this time around. Completely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is an understatement. This is going to be a, a whole nother world. Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of Asian kids botting. That's what's going to happen. The bots are going to be out in full force, yes. This is correct. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminator army. Yeah, the Terminator army. The I always thought that would be crazy if, like, if, if the bots, if, if uh, the, the Terminator robots were actually like started as bots for like sneaker apps. And then it's like, you know, they're robots with just like hype shoes on in like 2045. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the ch- I know so, I, right. I really jumped the, the the shark here, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are they? They like they evolve into bots that you make to stand in line for you, and then all of a sudden they start overthrowing the line. Yeah, and then they're like, you know, you're like they're like scanning your shoes are trash. Terminate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, there's our there's our show. <laughs> <laughs> our sneaker show. Our sneaker show is a Terminator bot situation that's still better than the netflix one but we're not going to get into that right now we'll talk about we'll that later put a pin in that one too yeah all right so in addition to the in addition to this the supreme uh sbs that we've seen we're also seeing uh we saw the there were the the at most uh air max one uh colorway of uh sbs that are coming out did you guys yeah you guys classic did? yes the elephant beautiful, elephant beautiful fucking shoe uh i'm i'm really really excited about those um I love that for you. bro i get so jealous when i think about being a designer back like when uh nike was like starting to let like co-branded projects fly like this mm-hmm. and the and to just be the guy going like bro let's just make it all the elephant print everyone goes oh shit fire <laughs> like, just a bunch of dudes in the office going yeah write that shit down write that shit down yeah, I mean, because I mean, doing it because you can't do anything with elephant print now. Elephant print has been completely owned by not only Nike but the brands that have done the Nike collab early. Like, it's like, oh, did, Atmos did that. You're just doing the Atmos shoe. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, it's that would have been so sweet. <sighs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, these are a classic. I'm really looking for. I mean, those are. I think, you know, obviously, I think those are, they're not like a store brand SB, like in terms of like, you know, the skate shop store, but they're amazing. And when I say skate shop, you know what I mean, right? Like, they're not a strange love civilist, like that type of uh, store, but like they're, I mean, God damn, they're beautiful. That Jade hit, I Mm -hmm. I always love that, like that Jade colorway on the, on that, like uh, as juxtaposed to the elephant print is so nice. I mean that. I mean they kept it monochromatic except for the part that you needed to see. Like this, this style of design is like very. I I always equate it to Dyson. You guys know anything about Dyson vacuums? Like they have those like uh-huh. pop colors of where the design function actually is. So like uh-huh. that's why the ball is a color. Like the all the shit that like is like a real design function is a color. Like they kind of uh-huh. took that with this. And although it's like not functional, like that swoosh is supposed to be what the pop is. And they fucking crushed it. Interesting. Yeah. They yeah they really did a good job. They uh really kept the spirit of the of the air max i enjoyed that a lot uh there, we, have, we have like a bunch of sbs that that were looking to come out too uh something that i don't know if you guys are gonna actually like but concepts had a a very interesting sb like first look this week uh for a thanksgiving themed one 
Yes. Uh, let me see. Tur- it's called the uh, the concepts the turducken dunks. Let me see. How do I spell turducken? <laughs> Tur T U R D U C K E N turducken. Speaking of turducken, John Madden. Boom! It's in the game. Um, <laughs> What happened? What happened? Where'd you go, L? Where'd you go? <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I'm looking for, yeah, the Turducans. What do you think of these, Chris? Um, they're not for me, but I'm not mad. I mean, I conceptually, I don't really get it yet. Like, I, don't, I didn't read anything about them, so I like, but I, I might be off, but I can't, I can't really see a story here. Oh, see the inside is nice. I that inside's that. fire. Uh, <laughs> that inside's fire. That the inside of the shoe kind of has like a like a kind of like a duck print that you would kind of see in your grandma's house, probably. Uh, you yeah, know, like, a, like at a, a restaurant, like wallpaper. Interesting. I have no clue. Yeah, hold on. Well, first Wait, of go all, go back to what the box art. Yeah, let's talk about all this right now. So there's supposed to be like a like a special box too. It looks mm-hmm. like with like a uh, with like kind of a I guess a, a roasting directions or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, matching uh, socks, some sort of. Uh, there's a Nerf thing in here. I don't know what this is doing. This looks interesting. Hell yeah, dude! Yo, concepts it never fucking lets you down when it comes to the full story like i like i just said i don't really know what's going on here yet but just looking at the, that one image of like the the meal pack i'm like oh, yeah i'm sold so let's see design wise this installment calls upon visual elements from the mallard duck including colors and textures and applies them throughout various regions of the shoe this is evident through the iridescent tongues which can be interpreted as swimming animals heads okay the blend of furry quarter panels, brown suede overlays, which nod to its body, and the orange tre- uh, treading, which is uh, emblematic of their webbed feet. Uh, so, yeah, it's supposed to be like a duck. It's, it's supposed to be like a duck colorway. Yeah. And it has like the little, like the little, uh, what is it, uh, fur, whatever you call it, like the little hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right next to the feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit like a horse hair. To, like, All right. I'm sold. These are fire. I'm in. Yeah, of course they're fire, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, this is extremely fire. I don't know. Yeah, I think those. I, just, are... I didn't read about them though. You know, that's what I'm saying. I saw them. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll, someone will tell me. And it was you guys right now, and I'm in. <laughs> that's what we're here for, baby. Sub podcast informing even our co-hosts. <laughs> um, but also, this is a Boston shoe, so you know I was going to be down anyway. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to those. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Dion. That's my guy. Hopefully, uh, Chris, you, hopefully you can get plugged in, man. Yeah. That would be tight. That would be very tight. Uh, so now that, uh, now that we've gone through most of the SBs, is there anything else I'm missing as far as SBs go? Yeah, the Bodega ones. Let's go over the, the, oh. the, the glove because that oh, one was uh, one. highly contested in the Discord. Okay. Both my, my city stores get some fucking dunks. Let me see. Let's see. Where is it? You know, when they were, you know, when I forget who exactly was talking about it at first in the Discord, they were like, this stinks. And uh, I looked at him. I was like, this is great, bro. That is a great flip on a baseball mitt into a shoe. I think they did a great job. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of those, honestly. Yeah. That was like one of the first SBs. I was like, ah, I'm not too. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are interesting to say the least let me see there's like a white colorway too the white colorway is nice i will say as far as like the two go hmm and bodega's got their their little logo right in the middle yeah oh what's i'm with these i like them i mean i I think i just like them for the accents mostly i think that leather looks tight um i don't know how i feel about the jewel swoosh i don't really like the jewel swoosh on much but on these it works enough for me uh, but I get not liking them. I'm like, oh, what is it like too busy for you? I just don't like the little the baseball like knots. I don't, the the tie string thing. I don't like. I just don't like the shoe itself. It just you see those not. are those are what do it for me. Those like little design accents to like make the object read like it's reference. Like that shit's awesome to me. 
so like yeah i like the i like that like the the knit like the stitching on top uh yeah. on the top of the shoe i think i think that's like a good design element but yeah a, across like uh the middle and the and the back of the shoe it it kind of it feels a little too busy like it feels like that's going to be like an issue if you're walking around on the street with those um at some point like especially in new york city you're going to get caught on something with those with those knots i just think that's it's a good point. Be that they're, they're trash to me i mean <laughs> just, i just don't think they're a good sneaker. and i'm not going to do a 180 and be like when they come out i'm not going to be like oh these are awesome like i just don't there's no mm. uh-uh. i'm a little bit more inclined to i like i like the white pair a little bit more, uh, more than the brown pair but even then i'm not crazy about them either i would agree with l on these i just like when you like can i mean i said it but like when you can physically point to the reference and then just do exactly what the reference has you know what i mean so they definitely were like holding a baseball mitt while the guy was catting this up and yeah. i just appreciate that level of detail because it's hard to get nike to not only agree to do that kind of stuff but also get the factory to do it well and then keep it at a reasonable price point what are the what are these priced at retail um what does it say what that's come on that that's pretty sweet they didn't make it 140 they didn't you know i know where i'm saying like 20 bucks but that's that's a tough thing to do that's i like that a lot it is it is uh yeah i guess that that is something to think about yeah it is kind of crazy that it's only 20 dollars more and it has like the jewel swoosh and all these crazy knots in the middle Uh yeah that's a good point I like that. I wish they did a logo flip on a brand though. Like I wish they took like uh what probably what's the biggest baseball mitt brand known, like Rawling or something. I wish they kind of like took the R and made it B. Like that would have been cool, but you know, I mean that's just me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you have it here first, Bodega people. Chris doesn't like your design. <laughs> yeah. Fuck with it. He thinks that you guys are derivative. <laughs> no, we're kidding. Uh, um so how about time we uh do you think it's time we we uh talk about this week in L's? I mean, you don't even have to just say it's the time. Just fucking L us L us into the segment. All right, buddy. Let's let's get into this week in L's. Do 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 Reporting live from LSU Lost Shoe University. Uh we have Luke reporting live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here uh, looking at these off-white fives. Big losses across the board for everybody known in the Discord. Maybe one or two Ws at most. It's a real sad time for everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, off-white fives came out this week. Uh, the sneakers app uh, made me want to cry. Uh, I put in for 16 raffles. I got uh, 16 L's back. Thank you to those raffles. Jeez, man. <laughs> So many a, a, a serious, serious sixteen? No, not seriously sixteen. Uh, Maybe like. Oh, 10. oh, damn, dude! I was about to be like, bro, you hit the sweet sixteen and you didn't get one. No, nah, right? That'd be crazy. That happens though. It beats like that sometimes, it, man. It, it, no, I know, bro. God damn, these are these are nice. These are nice. This is it's a shame that I would not be able to get a hand my hands on them. No, uh, they're fine. They're fine. They just have height. Yeah. These aren't That's- better than the fours, and they're not better than the other off white fives. Oh no! I like. I do them. like. I like them more than the, the first ones. Yeah. Me too. Really? I like these more than the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think that's like interesting that, to me. Well, you're not a fan of like that kind of yellowing. Te- like you've been on, on record saying like you don't like kind of that like aged look on stuff. So no, I mean, well, look, I like, I like. No, it, it can work for me. I I just these ones. I mean, look how fucking like fucking dented up these are already, and that's just a model wearing them. Okay, sure. Yeah, they're 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 dented up, but they're meant to be worn. Mm-hmm. I would, you know, if I got them, I would have worn them. And I would have beat the shit out of them too. Cuz I think I mean, I like I like the other ones better and I like the fours as a sale color better. Uh I mean, I'm not going to get mad at anybody for liking these though, I guess, cuz like it's at the point where if like you're just a hater if you don't like the hype shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, no, I actually like. I just like those. I think they're uh, they're they were a smooth shoe. I was definitely looking forward to try to to hopefully procuring a pair, but you know, in true L fashion, I took an L. <laughs> we're staying on brand, baby. And then we've yeah. got we got the dark mochas came out as well. 
Yo, actually, I was kind of tight. Uh, not that I even really wanted these, but because we basically had two chances, right? We got to reserve a pair, and then we got to do the regular uh, pray to God that we get through. Uh, and I was in Boston for the reserve spot. So mm-hmm. I couldn't even reserve because I had – because I, all I came up were Boston stores for me. Yeah, that's – yeah, that's correct. It was just bad timing. I didn't know they were going to do that as part of the release. I know, like, they were – you know, there was going to be a regular release on the sneakers app for them. But, but aren't there – there are uh, Nike stores in Boston that you could have reserved and picked up your pair. Yeah, but I wasn't going to be here. What do you mean you weren't going to be here? I was – I'm was, I'm leaving – I was supposed to be back in New York already today. And yeah, I was at the wedding. I, w- I couldn't have done anything. Oh, oh okay. okay. I was going to say, what time was the wedding? Was the wedding, it was Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. I, we left the house at 2. Yeah, you could have went early in the morning and picked up your pair. Dog, I don't have a car. Look, Honestly, I, you, it I, sounds I, like you just didn't plan these. well. It sounds, no. like you over, it sounds like you overslept the release like you normally don't do. Don't know. <laughs> Chris oversleeps every, every release, and he's just like, ah, bro, every, oh, fuck. Oh, I missed. Oh. oh, man. You're like, damn, you missed it. My bad. Dog. No, I just overslept. I'm sorry, oh, guys. Oh, I, I, I woke up at 1047. One time I do that. One time, I miss my fragment threes, and then you guys just chew me out. Because <laughs> it's your fragment threes. <laughs> I wanted those so bad too. Obviously not. You wanted some no. sleep. <laughs> I do like sleep. I. I, <laughs> uh, I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't go get them. I couldn't. But I mean, not that I even could have, because by the time I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on, they, they were like, "Oh yeah, I'll reserve, buddy." And I was like, "Oh great." So. Oh yeah, that was in like within a minute. Well, yeah. I had I had a problem. Um, I had a problem reserving uh, the app on the sneakers app as well. It was it just kept loading up. Uh, it was a spinning circle, and then it was the the uh, it was like you know death wheel, and I couldn't I couldn't reserve. And then I also tried to get them on the the Foot Locker app, and I used my uh, flex points, and and that was you know I got waitlisted. And then the wait list, you know, did not turn into a win. So, you know, hey. I, it, and what's funny is I wasn't – I thought they were nice. But it wasn't like the end of the world. Like, I didn't feel like, oh, my God, I can't believe I didn't get these. Yeah. Well, wait, can you can you kind of break down what that process was with the Foot Locker app? Because, I, like, I don't – like, I mean, we talked about it, like, when they first started introducing this program. But like, I didn't even try. So, like, how many points was it? Like, and how many did you have? Like, what did you really lose here? Uh, you lose, so basically it's the, the old VIP. I remember the old VIP, how it worked, you know, if you were a VIP, you would get extra minutes or so. And, and with this now, because they don't want people in the stores, you know, like looking for a tower or with COVID and everything, they basically changed it where you get points for, you know, purchases or filling out surveys. And I think I used, uh, I think I used 1500 points for this release. Is and that a lot? Know, eh, it's a good amount. You know, so it's, it, you don't, cause you, you don't, once you, once you, uh, use those points to try you to get, get them sneaker, back, right. you don't get them back. So yeah. what the thing is like you re up, obviously if you <clears throat> win and you get the purchase. So if you, then you get, you get more points cause you know, you've spent money, but if you don't, purchased and you just lose up on the points so i wasn't like i wasn't super uh like sad that i didn't get them but that was like my first experience using that app for mm. a pair of ones and it was just like i was it wasn't cool it wasn't cool ah i yeah I'm, I'm always hesitant of using like the Foot Locker stuff uh sorry for your loss let's talk about the uh the other loss that we all took this week uh Surprise drop of the tech fire, uh, the the fire red uh, force that came out as well, right? We had a little surprise drop. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I I saw the drop and and I just was like, I'm good. Like it, it got to the point. Like I'm tired of because if if I didn't like, I'm not. I didn't want the sneakers that bad, so I wasn't like, ah, oh, you know. When I saw the the notification, like I got like the J23 app or whatever, I was like, I'm not even gonna waste my two hundred dollars. Yeah, I feel yeah, that. Yeah, you, you know what's funny, El, is uh, while I pull this up, I think a lot of people felt the same way because uh, they didn't really, like, jump on stock at all. Like, they're pretty much, 
Like, I mean, so they're over 50 retail right now, essentially, but this isn't mm-hmm. going to stay. This is like, this is supposed to be like the money making point right now. Well, I mean, yeah, but we also, we also know that they're going to be in abundance, you know, when it comes out. So it's kind of like people aren't paying just to have them a couple weeks early. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, yeah. some of these like more, more difficult sizes, like an 18 is 400, like, but that's not even like a real, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not a real. Yeah. Who's buying yeah, it? These are steady. At two. You know what? If this, this is a shoe that if you like slept on and like you're debating it, this is one to actually grab because like 50 over retail is like not terrible. Yeah, it's not. Also, mm-hmm. I found out I was uh, I was perusing StockX because I was looking at this as well. Uh, I also found out that uh, Midnight Navy J, uh, JP uh, Jordans, uh, the ones that are coming out, are like mm-hmm. 250 270 right now. Mm-hmm. StockX, like really not doing crazy numbers. So I, I don't know. I, I was looking at those and I was thinking about picking those up just because like it's not too crazy over retail. But like looking at the silver ones, I'm like, I don't know. They might not go up either. So are, are these true to the actual fire reds? Not like the, because the texts were different. Uh, I don't know. I guess so. It's like that's, we were discussing this like a couple weeks ago. It's, it's like kind of like not really that same color. It's just a little bit, little, just slightly different, you know, yeah. just enough for them to call it a different shoe. Yeah. I was so, uh, like, startled when I opened the sneakers app. There was that whole animation. I, st- I, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Because I never, like, opened my phone to that. And I texted you guys. I was like, yeah, I think I got early access to some shit. Because I just was so thrown up. Yeah. And then you guys were like, no, no, no. It's for everybody. I was like, oh, That's all right. For everyone and their mama. Yeah. Even, even sleepy Chris. <laughs> even me. But then, and then again, I was looking at them. I'm like, oh, let me, let me just see. And they're sold out of Everything's just sold out. Every time I open that app, it's just sold out. Something's sold out. <laughs> just seeing that processing sign over and over again. Uh, do you guys want to talk about like, – let's talk about sneakerheads now, that, that godforsaken show. Yes. Sure, sure thing. All right. Episode so, three. Episode three. So, Chris, you had to catch up. You had I, I caught up. Um, the, I, yeah, I watched the second and the third back-to-back. It was a painful – 40 minutes. God, this show is still so bad. Uh, I couldn't believe the, the story doesn't make any sense. Right. It literally does not. I So, all right. They went to go get Chicago off-whites from some photo shoot or video shoot, whatever. You guys explained that to me and then I watched it, right? Mm-hmm. So, King Bach looks at the, the, the Red Octobers and goes, bro, let's just take these, right? And, and then everyone, he's like, just like, no, why would I do that? And the girl was going to give them to him for an on, only $300 more. And then dude talked shit. And then, he, and then he said 15 and then he bought it. This, the, the writing is so horrible. Yeah. It's really bad. And then he used his baby as a customer. Yes. Yeah. Didn't Babies like are not customers. It's one per customer. And a baby is not a customer. A baby cannot buy a size eight and a half shoe. No. Correct. No, he cannot. It was real shitty of him. Uh, And then at the end of the episode, that whole, this is where we get the real A plot of this story. Like they, they are just starting to reveal the A plot of the story in episode two, that fucking Jordan zero thing. Like they're getting into it. And I'm like, mythical. Yeah. I'm like, this is dumb. This is dumb. It's really dumb. You don't need to make up a new shoe. Like, it's dumb. You don't need it. I tried to pause it for when, like, King Bach had that presentation of all his evidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all this, you can't look at any of the shoes. So, like, it's all blurry. And then, then of course, it's like he's playing Where's Waldo um, with the shit. Uh, Yeah, it's a weak, it's it's a weak plot. Um, They do... They do one thing right per episode, though. They do get me on one thing. So remember I spoke about the nod? Yeah. That was one thing I was like, okay, someone at least understands something about sneakers in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, When the plug chick uh, was, like, taking the white dude as her, like, underling or whatever she called, uh, not lacing him up properly, Mm -hmm. uh, you you can't wear him with factory settings. I thought that was very funny. Yeah. Just putting him on out the box as factory settings, that's very, very funny. Right. That was pretty cool. I like that. Um, I like the, 
I like I don't understand why they didn't just like make it about a like two guys. Like it seems like it should have just been a show about two guys trying to start a sneaker show, store together. Yeah, because what they alluded to that in the third episode, right? Right. Because he was like, are you wanted to have a store, you wanted to have a brand. Yeah. Well, that was the third episode. Oh, was it two? Oh, okay. Two, sorry. And then he goes, he goes get his old job back, which is his boss is Kevin from The Office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. His boss is Kevin from The Office, and then he's like, "You gotta wear like, you know, black shoes or brown shoes," and then he quits his job the next episode after he just got it because he sees a guy in threes. In threes, a janitor dude. Like, the janitor in, in threes. You're fresh like, pair of threes too. Fresh pair of threes. He's a janitor and he's got a fresh so, pair of threes. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say this. They make everybody who chases sneakers broke. Did you guys realize this? Everyone who has sneakers or who is doing sneakers, they give him like a uh, they make it seem like he doesn't make a lot of money. Or or they're famous. It's one or the other. It's never That's true. I mean the whole Mark Wahlberg thing we can get into, but they don't <laughs> yeah, like first off, that is not what a corporate graphic design job is like. No. Uh-huh. That that's ridiculous. I've never had to wear a suit. I'm I've never had to. This is crazy. And the other thing about the um the shoes, like with the Oxfords or whatever, like the dull shoes you can get. There's fly nice kicks that you can wear in an office. Right. We've shown them. Uh-huh. We've shown a couple on Hypeless Heat. There's like it's ridiculous. Uh huh. You he, just being yeah. It's 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 a real weak point. You know. And then yeah, let's talk about episode three. Listen, that now that we're kind of into it. Holy shit. Oh my God! The Mark Wahlberg thing is like, what? Why? Why? Why even use Wahlberg? Mm-hmm. I that that whole episode was cheating because first off, it was just the celebrities that got you through that. Seeing Paul Pierce and Michael Rappaport try to play tennis, there, there's no show that's not going to be fun watching that. Yeah, that I think that's that definitely got us through that episode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were really carrying it. And like they they really went full sitcom on this, like the mm-hmm. the 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 chasing the shoes and getting caught by a black panther and having to run away. Dog, that mm-hmm. was so stupid. Mm-hmm. That was so stupid. Why would you even like Michael Michael B. Jordan has a fucking they gave the studio gave Michael B. Jordan a black panther. Mm-hmm. I actually kidding? thought that was funny. That's stupid. That's just a dumb like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, MJ has a panther. And they're like, Michael Jordan has a panther? He's like, no, the one with the B in it. At the okay. studio gave it to him. I thought that was funny. Uh, I mean, this, the only way that I enjoy the show is if it gets so dumb, it's, like, it's wrong. But not mm-hmm. – not, because with the sneakers, they're, it's too dumb. But yeah. with stuff like that that has nothing to do with sneakers that's way over the top dumb, like very sitcom I'm like, okay, that's – I guess okay. Like the panther shit was fine. But like when – He's in front of Red October. He's going like, "Let's steal these. Let's fuck up your whole life." Like, I can't get into that part. Yeah, just like I said, man, it just wasn't. Uh-uh. Yeah, and then you've got so they were che- they went to Mark Wahlberg's house to get these Oregon fours, right? Yeah, that was like the whole thing. And then the whole the the punchline at the end of the episode is that they're scuffed, and I'm like, "No shit, they're scuffed." He's been playing tennis. Well, tennis in them. Yeah, he's been playing tennis in them for like months. Of course uh-huh. they're. They're fucked. They're like they're not good shoes anymore. Uh-huh. So this is this is my thing. Is like all right. So so that is supposed to be like scuffed. What is that? What is scuffed? Uh-huh. I can't believe that's like the cliffhanger. If you're gonna educate the the watcher of this show on what scuffed is in episode four, yeah. This is what what was your timeline here? What's the next thing about is episode five gonna be like how sometimes you don't have to lace your sneakers? Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't. It wasn't good. No good. No good, no good, no good. Well, I'm looking forward to review episode four with you guys next week. I don't know if I'm going to make it to episode Yeah, four. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. This is, this is there's getting... only six, right? No, I think there's eight or nine. Come on, single digits. We could do this. Yeah, I we could do it. We can get through this. We, we, we can get through this. We can get through this for sure. But, like, I'm going to need to see some, but, like, some other super big-time celebrity next week. Yeah. You know? Oh, how know. did they get uh, Michael Rappaport and Mark Wahlberg? Uh, I mean, in uh, Paul Pierce, and not actually Mark Wahlberg. I know it, was that I supposed to be part to, of the bit. I guess so. That was supposed to be like the bit. I'm I'm not opposed to. So here's here's why that Mark Wahlberg thing doesn't work. It's because the the rest there's a bunch of other characters are celebrities in the show. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So they're like they all exist in this universe where like the, one of the dudes from the Entourage was like on the Facetime with uh, oh yeah, turtle. turtle. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Turtle it was in uh, with uh, so it was like, oh, this is actually like this is a possibility. Like mm-hmm. somebody knows somebody at a studio, and Mark Wahlberg could be here. So Mark like, Wahlberg when, actually directed a part of Entourage. Right, he produced mm-hmm. it too. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I thought this was like this. They could actually get Mark Wahlberg. All right, crazy. And then they open the door, and it's not Mark Wahlberg. And I'm like, well, why, why use Mark Wahlberg then? Like, why not just use one of these other celebrities that you have? Why not just make it Turtle? <laughs> you know, why not just make it Turtle? And you know what's know. funny is like, so they had Turtle on, but they didn't even mention the Entourage Air Forces that exist. No, no. Nobody's done any research on the show. Look, guys, if we, because we seriously, I know this, we could write a better show than this. If you, yeah. if us three don't actually write a show that's better than this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, let's, let's not, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's sit down and do it. Uh, let's, let's, <laughs> all right. So that put, that's, that, that closes the book on Sneakerheads episode three. Uh, we'll be watching episode four next week, begrudgingly the whole time. <laughs> There you go. Uh, let's Hype. get sleepless heat. Yeah, yeah let's, let's close it out. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Hype, bliss, heat. Hype, bliss, heat. Uh, does anybody want to go first? I could go first, if anything. Yeah, you, I'm going to pull mine up. Okay. So my pick for this week, we were discussing, uh, we were discussing, uh, Fila's mm-hmm. off of uh, uh, something that Chris brought up, and I remembered that the Grant Hills are actually not that bad. Um, So my pick this week are going to be the Bread Grant Hills. Uh, Very cheap shoe, like $45 to like $70. Kind of same energy as like a, not the same energy as a Jordan, but like, you know, kind of like a mix of different qualities. And uh, for like a budget shoe, it's not that bad. You'll probably- Well, wait, wait, which one are you picking? You're picking the first one? I'm picking Grant Hill 1s. I'm picking the Grant Hill 1s in the bread colorway. That is my pick of the week. Uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy them and, uh, they're a cheap shoe. If you want to, you want to wear something other than a check for, you know, for 45 bucks, I say these. Damn, Luke, I was going to do a Fila. Yeah. And you ruined my, <laughs> you ruined Man. my fucking pick. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do a no, Fila. Let's no, all do I won't. Fila's. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me see. Do I have anything in the, in the, my closet? Uh, shit. Oh, you know what? All right. I got one. Because so if, uh, if you're a video listener and you're notice I'm not in my normal background, I'm actually at my, uh, the house I grew up in, I'm in my parents' house. Uh, and a lot of the shoes I have here are like, they're either like the ones that like I don't want to touch forever and I'm waiting to sell, or they're like, like dumb Reeboks that I had that uh, like they just didn't make the cut and they're just here taking up space. But so la- one week I had the Kamikaze 2 as my pick. Um, and I have about like eight pairs of Kamikaze three here's threes here. And I'm kind of like, these aren't as bad as I thought they were. Like they, I, th- I thought they were hot when they came out. Cause of course, I mean like Swiss beats was like fucking pushing them and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they made a D Brown colorway and I have those. And I was looking at those. I was like, you know what? These aren't even that bad. Let me see if I can find a call a uh, picture of the color. You guys know what, what I'm talking about? This, uh, I hey, whatever. These aren't these aren't the color. I'll use a different color for the actual photo for Instagram. But um, yeah, I mean, these were like a huge deal. Like when I was working there, because it was like Reeboks, like fucking like attempted like getting into the cool space. These were the ones that launched. Right. Um. These were like the first big ones to go. They had uh, a colorway where it was like this deep brown right here, where it had like the black, white, and the orange pop. Uh mm-hmm. huh. But these were the ones that came out. These are the ones that Swiss was like, all right, Reebok's about to be cool again. He got like Rick Ross. He got Meek Mill before uh, the Puma deal. Like there was a bunch of shit going on. And it was just like, a, it was just a weird. Oh, the dude who started Freeman Platt did these. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's how Germ kind of got like his notoriety within the sneaker industry was because he did these and a bunch of all the other like revamp retro model Reeboks like on their new version. Very nice. Yeah, so like within the like the designer community, everyone was kind of like, "Oh, that's that's the germ shoe." And then I think he used that cloud to go make premium flat. But I'll just I'll use these because since you stole my feel, I was going to say the feel of cage, but I'll say that next week. Next week, okay. We'll we'll hint for next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
and uh, my hype of seat shoe is the Clark's Wallaby. Oh, mm. all right. Little Raekwon in you. Yeah, I mean, I had a pair when I was a kid. You know, I had a pair when I was a teenager. They're, uh, they're uh, fucking amazing. I guess Chris is leaving to go get his Clark's Wallabies. <laughs> no, because I also – I have another – one that he did too he did a bunch of these were like the redone of the uh shack uh what were they called like the ice man or some shit like germ did a bunch of them shits uh, clark's wallaby it's clark's very, wallaby and there you go nice, nice shoe very nice shoe um let's see uh you can follow the podcast at sub podcast nyc uh on instagram twitter uh, you can hit us up on subpodcastnyc at gmail. There's also a phone number in our in our in our bio, uh, and join our Discord. Discord's popping. We always have a lot of fun. Uh, me and Sketchy Mike were talking anime today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. You can follow Lawrence at LZD three two five. You can follow Chris at Not That Cheney on mm-hmm. all platforms, and you can follow me uh, at Trevisas on all the platforms. There you go. Uh, it's been Sub Podcast. Uh, Thanks for listening, guys. Go out and vote. Peace. Peace. All right. Oh, I I was like looking at this going like, oh.